What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince of YouTube, PS Compulsion, signing in here, aka Prince Anthony. And I finally played my first game with this Detroit Pistons squad after those three trades that I made in the last episode. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you go back and watch that past episode, baby. But our first game of the season was against the Brooklyn Nets on our home court, and sadly, we was not able to get the W. We lost by double digits. This team needs a lot of work, bruh. But looking at the box score, just to give you guys an idea of how our players played on this Pistons squad, Markel Fultz, 4.6 assists. He played pretty well passing the ball, to be honest. Zubak had 15 points. Blake Griffin had 10. Andre Drummond had 9.6 rebounds. When I normalize play to simulation stats, Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond both had double doubles. Zubak Zubak had 30, and Markel Fultz had 4 steals, 12 assists, and 8 points. That's pretty good for his first game in Detroit. Then after that game, they hit me with a press conference and was like, what are my expectations for this Pistons squad? And of course, I chose the option to build a Pistons dynasty. That's going to take a lot of work. But I'm pretty sure we could get it done. Don't worry, bro. I got this. So I simulated our game against the Chicago Bulls because I wanted to play the game against the Philadelphia 76ers. I want Markel to face off against his former team on our home court. Next week, we're facing them on their home court. Markel is going to return to Philly to face off against his old team then. But tonight is on our home court, so let's get it. And if you guys don't know, I had to do a three-team trade in the last episode to get my Markel falls on the team so the Sixers squad is actually a little bit better but welcome to Detroit the Motor City as we get ready to face off against the Philadelphia 76ers Markel gotta give me at least 10 points 5 rebounds and I'll go with 8 or 9 assists that sounds reasonable enough. We're 0 and 2. Sixes are 2 and 1. We gotta get this W. Our starting lineup Markel Falls, Reggie Bala, Glenn Robinson III, Blake Griffin, and Andre Drummond. Sixes, Detroit. Let's go, Pistons. Tip off time here in Detroit. Can we win the tip that we do? Look at how beautiful this new arena is. I am really good at designing these arenas. But anyways, let's see what we got in the first possession of the game. Running that pick and roll with Blake Griffin. I didn't go nowhere, but guess what? I got that switch. Getting it down low to Blake Griffin. He got a baby on him. There's no way he could miss. And I get the perfect release. Hopefully our defense is better in this game because in that game versus the Brooklyn Nets, our defense was horrible and just like that. Jimmy Butler gets a wide open three. Right on cue, bro. Right on cue. Three point lead for the Sixers. About to run that beautiful pick and roll. As always, he has falls. Oh, who's this wide open? Glenn Robinson for three. Give me those three points right now. You got MB drumming down low. He gets the shot to go. We take a two point lead. Andre Drummond is a beast, bro. He's really a beast. I got to keep him on this roster no matter what I decide to do. He needs to work on his free throws, though. Oh, look at that block. And Andre Drummond with the beautiful the block. Here comes Markel Falls. Drop it to the basket. Nice move. Okay. Come on, we need this bucket. Send me that pick and roll. Psych, I'm driving. Getting it inside. Andre Drummond with the poster on Mason Plumley. Look at that. Move. Get out the way. Oh, they throw the ball out of bounds. Let's go. Right back to us. What you doing? <laughs> We're down by one point. Wherever the Sixers throw at us, we have to throw it right back. One thing that I realize about this team is that sometimes we could just struggle on the offensive end. So if our offense is flowing right now, we got to keep things moving. Let's see what I got in this possession, though. Running that pick and roll with Andre Drummond. Driving. Here comes Markel Fultz. Nice handoff to Andre Drummond. Another poster. On Mason Plumley, just get out the way, bruh. JJ Redick to the basket, can't get it to go. Ben Simmons with the rebound, and of course he's gonna get that. I knew it. He's got ten. He has ten points right now. Ben Simmons is not missing in this first quarter. Like, what's really good with him? But anyways, running that pick and roll with Zubox. Here comes Seth Curry, getting it to Zubox. He lays it up and then where's the foul? That should have been. I need to chant defense a little bit louder. We need to stop. Seth Curry is cold. Our offense is cold. Here's Jimmy Butler running that pick and roll, and he just gets to the basket. 
Oh my goodness, we can't the stop them from scoring right now. Our offense is completely cold, ice cold. Look at this. TJ McConnell just poking the ball out of Seth Curry's hand like he's a nobody. And since he checked into the game, Seth Curry has been doing a horrible job at running the point. So I think I just might let Langston Galloway do that. Running that pick and roll with Zubak. Langston Galloway inside, kick out to Wilson Chandler. He knocked down the three, I'll take it. Zubak down low. Should I put it up? And I do, and I get the and one. I did not expect that shot to go in at all. I just had to force it up, though. Eight-point lead, and we cut the lead. To, oh, my goodness. I would miss the free throw. Let's get back, and they get it to Jimmy Butler, and just like that, those two points Zubak just made made no difference. Back down by 10 points, about to make some subs. And to be honest, I thought I already put Langston Galloway to run the point, but Seth Curry, you definitely got to sit down, bro. Let me try running that pick and roll. They ain't going nowhere. That should be an easy layup. Of course, I can't get it to go. Zubak with the rebound. Can I get the put back? I'll take it. Come on. We need this bucket. Running that pick and roll with a man Johnson. He has Wilson Chandler. I get the perfect release. I'll take it. Back down by nine points. Let's see if we can get one more stop before the half and the final shot. Oh, what is he doing? Don't throw the ball. There we go. Galloway get the steal off the inbound. That was a horrible pass. If I get it to the corner, oh my goodness. I get blocked, but I get the shot right back. Or the ball right back, I should say. And Zubak inside, and I get blocked again. What is really going on? Why is it so hard to score against this team? But run that pick and roll. Wilson Chandler misses the shot. I put it up again, and I can't score. What is going on? Oh my goodness, all right. Getting the ball to Wilson Chandler. I get it inside. Zubak wide open dunk, and I miss. Bruh. You really got to be kidding me, bro. What was that? I really don't want Jimmy Butler to catch fire. I'm bringing that help. I jumped way too early. TJ McConnell wide open, and of course. Why am I even surprised? Of course that was going to go in. Just like that, we're back down by 12. Markel Falls running that pick and roll. Nice pass inside to Andre Drummond. And he's really been the only one beasting for our squad, to be totally honest. Can I get a screen or something? Trying to run that pick and roll with somebody. I'm holding down the ball. Okay, there we go. Running that pick and roll with Andre Drummond. Tried to throw up the floater, but instead, I pull up for a shot. Of course, that wasn't going to go in. I meant to throw up a floater, bro. But Jimmy, but wait, who's going? But oh, my goodness. I'm about to quit. Just a fantastic job. This game is really, really Butler. upsetting me, bro. Oh, my. All right. Trying to run that pick and roll with Andre now Drummond again. I'm throwing up that alley. You. I'll take those two points. Andre Drummond, like I said, is the only one. Play Robinson inside off the pass by Fultz. <sighs> and I missed yet again. Here's JJ Reddick. Step back jump shot. That's probably going to go. Oh, wait. They actually missed. Let's go. Let's try to push the tempo. Here comes Glenn Robinson once again. Getting the ball to Markel. I'm trying to drive. Easy layup. And he gets it to go. Praying for a stop right now. Praying for a stop. Shot clock winding down. It doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter what we do. The Sixers just can't miss. Look at that field goal percentage, bro. Oh, my goodness. All right, here comes Markel Fultz trying to get something going on the offensive end. I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to go down low to Blake Griffin. Let me see what you got, Blake. Trying to post up Blake. Blake down low. Pump faking, pump faking. I can't get the shot to go. I get the offensive rebound, and I get blocked. But I get the ball right back. You guys already know P.S. Compulsion never gives up, and he's never out of a game. I sound like John Cena, never give up. But anyways, we're down by 13 to start the fourth quarter. Trying to run that pick and roll with Zubak, not going nowhere. But Zubak got good position down low. Zubak pump fake and throws it up and gets the shot. Here's Langston Galloway off that fake pick and roll with Zubak. And Zubak throws down the GGG jam on Mason Plumley. Yo, Mason Plumley has been getting dunked on all game. By Andre Drummond, Blake Griffin, and Zubak, bro. <laughs> that is hilarious. Let's see what the Sixers got in this possession. Can we at least get a stop? Ben Simmons driving. Excellent defense by Blake Griffin. Come on, we got to score in this possession. Here comes Seth Curry. Getting the ball up ahead. Wilson Chandler with the perfect release on the layup. We cut the lead down to 10. Come on, we got to keep going. Crowd needs to chant defense a lot louder or something. Like... Simmons there we go. Griffin. Crowd starting to get into it. Ben Simmons, horrible shot. He's not making that. But they Here's get the Plumlee. offensive rebound. But they get blocked. 
Zubak with the block. Oh, who's this wide Curry. open? Steph Curry for three. Bang. Oh, wait, it's a two? Come on, we need this basket. Run that pick and roll with Andre Drummond. Folks to the basket, and he gets blocked by Andre Drummond with the rebound and the putback jam. How much points does Andre Drummond have right now? He has to have, like, at least 40 when I normalize play to simulation stats. Let's see what the Sixers got. Ben Simmons running the point. Ben Simmons trying to do something. I'm bringing that help defense. Get that weak stuff out of here. Excellent defense. Here comes Blake Griffin getting the ball to Reggie Pollock. And he draws the foul. He's going to go to the free throw line. He is the best free throw shooter on our squad. First free throw is good. Come on, you got to knock down the second one. My entire team been missing free throws all game. Who are they going to on this possession? Looks like... I thought he was going to Embiid, but they're actually going to Jimmy Butler. He's backing on Reggie Butler. I'm bringing that help. And how can you leave Barton open in the corner, bro? Oh, my goodness. Just like that, the lead goes right back up to 10. We're running out of time. Falls driving to the basket, puts it in, and a foul. And one. <laughs> Oh, man, can he knock down the free throw, though? He missed two free throws earlier, and he gets a perfect release on this one. Seven-point game. We really need a defensive stop. Come on, bro. They get it down low. Get that weak stuff out of here. Nice block on Embiid, and who is guarding TJ McConnell? Second-chance points are killing us, bro. They knock down a three-pointer, pushing the lead back up to 10. Can we score in this possession? Falls got good positioning. I get it to play Griffin. In. He can't get the shot to go. I get the offensive rebound and the putback, though. Andre, this game is sadly looking like it's over. Maybe if they miss on this possession and we score, Jimmy Butler missed, but can we score? Our offense have been horrible except for Andre Drummond. Here's Wilson Chandler getting the ball to Markel Falls. Time to run that beautiful pick and roll. Markel driving to the basket. Pump faking. Can I get it to Andre? I do, and he lays it up and in. But yeah, we're out of time. <laughs> to be honest, I'm just hyped that we didn't lose by double digits. I will take the 8-point L because we really played decent this game, at least. Decent at most. But we just didn't have the firepower to keep up with the Philadelphia 76ers, and we are now 0-3 and to start this NBA season. I normally say this for myself. But for the Philadelphia 76ers, this was a good team win and a good team effort. Embiid had 10. Will Barton had 10. TJ McConnell had 10. Oh my goodness, like the whole team was scoring on me. Ben Simmons had 18. Jimmy Butler had 19. Just insane, bro. Just insane. Good team win. Good team effort by the Philadelphia 76ers. When I normalized played the simulation stats, Jimmy Butler had 38. Ben Simmons had 36. TJ McConnell, Will Barton, and Joel Embiid all had 20 points. Joel Embiid had a triple-double, 10 blocks, 18 rebounds, 20 points. Oh, my goodness, bro. This team, I owe them a big, fat L. In the next episode, I got to play them again, bro. I'm sorry. I really got to play them again. I owe them an L. I definitely owe them. But looking at the box score for our squad, Blake Griffin had 5.7 rebounds. Wilson Chandler had 9 off the bench. Markel Fultz with 8 assists, 9 points. Zubox, 7 rebounds, 11 points. Andre Drummond with 24 points, 7 rebounds, 4 blocks, 12 or 13 from the field. Then when I normalize, play to simulation stats, bruh. This dude, Andre Drummond, had 48 points, 8 block shots, and 14 rebounds. 24-26 from the field. That right there is insane. Talk about effective. Zubox had 22 points, 14 rebounds. Markel Falls, 18 points, 16 assists. So he actually didn't play too bad. Just on the offensive end, his offense needs a lot of work, bro. To be totally honest with you guys. But... It was still a pretty decent game for us. We didn't lose by double figures, so that's always good. Zubox is looking amazing. Andre Drummond is looking like a beast. Blake Griffin just needs to play a little bit better. But right now, we're 0-3 to start the NBA season. Hopefully, if we keep on losing, I just might start to tank. I don't know. Should I tank? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you guys want to see me tank? I'm interested in seeing what you guys got to say about that. But the next episode, I owe this team an L. I'm sorry. I got to play that game. Let's go Pistons.